Hello again, this is Amin Moja Ra, um, and this is part two of how to install uh, Joomla, WordPress, Drupal on a dedicated or virtual private server, a Linux, uh, a, a Linux server. Um, and from the last video, I, I apologize, um, my recording software uh, kind of got stuck, so I had to end the video abruptly. But we left off on... Um, we uh, securely uploaded the files for Joomla, Drupal, the zip files for Joomla, Drupal, and uh, WordPress up to the server. And what we need to do now is unzip them. And this is where um, knowing Linux um, as a web developer comes in. And again, I want to, again, uh, emphasize that I think that you should use a service like uh, the Linux Academy. Um, which is this right here, which I do have an account to, um, the Linux Academy um, to learn Linux um, so that you can be the best uh, web developer you can be. Um, and, there, and that academy is ran by uh, the, the guys who uh, have set up the Pinehead TV uh, website. Um, so, um, and I haven't had time, to be honest with you, to do a lot with the account that I, I have, but... You know, um, I've been blessed to be able to, you know, do the monthly fee and, you know, um, have the luxury of, you know, as long as they're able to run this, to be able to go in and, um, you know, um, become a more proficient developer because it is very extensive. Um, and the offering that they have for you is definitely, will definitely make you a better developer. Okay, so enough with the Linux Academy because I don't want to embarrass them or anything like that. So we created our databases. And now what we need to do is go ahead and unzip the files. So um, if you're on a Mac, you can use your terminal to log into your ser server um, to unzip the files. And if you're on Windows, uh, you can use uh, uh, an application called Putty, which you can get online. Um, all you have to do is just go to, if you don't know the website, is just type in P. Uh, smaller, small case P, then capital U T T Y, and just hit search. Um, hit your return, hit search, and it'll in Google it will bring up the um, Putty uh, page, the Putty download page. Just go to the download page and um, download the first client, which is the Putty exe um, file, um, and you know download it and install it. Um, here it is, right here, and. The way that you log in using Putty is you just go, um, in my case, I type in my domain name. You can do either use your domain name or your IP address to log into your account. And then hit uh, open. So we're going to hit open. And uh, a message might come up. Uh, the first time you log in, just uh, click yes. Uh, then you put in your FTP username. And then put in your password. And boom, I'm in my um, dedicated server. Um, so um, again, and you'll learn about your secure shell and all that stuff um, by doing the Linux Academy or something to that extent. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of Windows. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get out of this. And shut down this virtual machine that I have on my Mac. Right here. Um, so now that we've done that, we can go ahead and do the same thing on the Mac. Um, you do it a little bit differently uh, with terminal. You just go SSH. And then I put in my username, my FTP username. And then my domain name. And then it asks me for my password. So put in my password. And boom, I'm in my um I'm in my server. So we want to go ahead and navigate to those files. So on my file system, this is the same thing that you would see on uh, FileZilla. If we, uh, if I go up one, you see all these. These are the same directories. So my files are in the the Joomla, Drupal, and 
WordPress files are in my FTP, I mean uh, my HTTP docs directory. And on your server, it might be different. It might be called HT docs. It might be HTTP docs, depending on what hosting, um, who's setting up your dedicated or virtual private server. So I want to go ahead and navigate into my HTTP docs directory using the command of uh, change directory CD. And then I want to go ahead and list and find and see the files. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and go into my Joomla directory first. Um, so I can unzip that and list that and then I can go ahead and copy this right here so I can go ahead and unzip it so zip you use the command unzip and then paste and so I've unzipped my Joomla directory and then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I no longer need this zip file so I want to go ahead and erase this So I've done that, and if I go ahead and list all the items, uh, my Joomla directory is ready. So let's navigate up to our uh, parent folder, which is our HTTP docs directory. And so I want to go ahead and unzip the Drupal uh, folder. Uh, Drupal file, I'm sorry. And there we go. So then I want to go ahead and delete that. And the R, um, the RM, the remove dash remove file or directory. Uh, that's what that RM dash RF means. You know, basically deletes the file. So now that I've deleted that, I can list it, and I can see that Drupal uh, 7.8 now is a directory. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to name rename that. Um, with this command right here and you can learn all this in the, like I said the Linux Academy um, and of course there's other sites that, that do the same thing so I want to rename this folder to Drupal so done that and if I L, if I list it now that directory is Drupal and so the last one is uh, WordPress so let's go ahead and unzip that and I'm gonna go WordPress Zip and unzipping that, and then I want to go ahead and delete that again. So now we have all of our um, directories unzipped. So let me go ahead and clear this. So that we can see everything so let me list everything so now we have everything listed um, and so if I go back to my browser let me uh, close this out right here close that virtual machine out um, and first let me show you what I did uh, if I refresh my filezilla the files that I uploaded now as you can see you, you can see that the Joomla directory if I refresh again uh, you can see that the Joomla directory has been unzipped and that zip file is gone. So if I go up one directory and you see the WordPress directory is the same way. Um, everything is, you know, and the same thing with Drupal. So now we can go back to our browser and we can go ahead and run the installation so that the, the, uh, the, content management systems can install and from here it's just the same thing so if I go imagination everywhere at info slash Drupal and I go there I am ready to make my install real quick select my language and then I have my database name which was Drupal and then my username, which is uh, Amin Drupal. And 
and then password um, then put my password in and I'm only going to install Drupal show you how to you know demonstrate the Drupal install because they're all the same they have different looks and all that but basically everything is the same um, it's gonna go ahead and go through the motions and check the database and install and do all its you know behind the scenes magic um, so from here, if you've installed Drupal and you've done or Joomla and WordPress from here, all of it is the same now. So this is my video demonstrating how you can custom install Drupal, Joomla, and WordPress. Um, I wanted to take you through that. And as we get more into showing you how to customize your content management systems um, and showing you the power of controlling and having ultimate control over your configuration that's very important so thank you for watching this video and again it, the same thing can be done for WordPress and Joomla um, it's the same thing now that we've unzipped the files and they're in the directories you add the database names you know and do that and do what you usually do so instead of that one, one click install now you know how to do it and you can only do it um, you can only do it this way on your dedicated or virtual private Linux server, Linux machine, Linux server. All right. Thank you for watching this video.